my name is Autobot. Today, I will introduce you to the word automation engineering. The word automation comes from the word automatic, which means that things can work on their own without the assistance of a human being. In the age of the internet, the world of automation has evolved and is with us wherever we go. For example, at home, a refrigerator can now determine when it's running out of food and can automatically go online to order more food for us without the need to do it ourselves. Another example are smartphones, which have pretty much become the 33rd organ in our bodies. It can remind us wherever we have meetings, estimate the travel time, and even give us the best directions. Oh, not forgetting to mention the occasional news reports that will automatically get updated within our specific area. What a good life! Even in offices we can find automation. For example, wholesale businesses. Sales staff that are distributed around the country can now receive updates on stock products and prices in real time. How convenient is that? Factories have also benefited from automation in increasing the accuracy and production speed for better quality and higher performance. They can even change production patterns to suit the markets in each month. The development of automation requires automation engineering, which is a combination of control system and instrumentation engineering and information technology management. Since we are still lacking automation engineers, the Department of Control System and Instrumentation Engineering and King Mongkut's University of Technology Thonburi have integrated a curriculum in order to grow students into skillful and knowledgeable graduates. The standard levels in a factory can be divided up to four levels, which will be taught to you in each year as follows. In the first year, you will study the basics of engineering, such as physics, chemistry, calculus, and the basics of computer programming. In the second year, students will begin studying about level one and level two. You will get to practice using sensors for measuring various values and also get the opportunity to use controllers for handling machines and electronic devices. Last but not least, you will be able to use all the knowledge you have gained to do a capstone project. In the third year, you will get to study MES and ERP. MES controls the production in a factory from the beginning till the end until it makes a final product. It also adjusts itself and finds ways to improve for better production. ERP is a business management system that a company can use to collect, store, manage, and interpret data from the business activities, such as sales and marketing, shipping and payment, or manufacturing and service delivery. When you have completed studying all levels, it is then time for you to show off your skills in the second capstone project. In the third year, you will get to intern within a company of your choice to test your skills and knowledge in the real working environment. And the fact that this is an international program makes students who are interested in working abroad qualified for top quality international companies. In the final year, students will be given the choice to venture forth into control system and instrumentation engineering or computer engineering to gather knowledge on a specific field to help them develop in completing their final project. These four years already sound exciting, don't they? Now let's take a look at some fields where you could be working in. Since the curriculum is an international one, you will be able to improve your English, which will prepare you for the real working world both in Thailand and abroad. And I can tell you that the salary is higher than you could ever imagine. For example, the petrochemical industry, the energy industry, the automotive industry, the pharmaceutical and food industry. There are actually a lot more industries that demand automation engineers. And this is why we would like to invite you all to support the development of Thailand's industry to become internationally recognized. Anyway, I hope to see you all soon. Bye!